Guys, so I'm back from uh, a run, and um, you know, so in the past I would normally use this thing. Uh, go and watch it likes up at the back for some reason. Um, you know, this thing it gives you a lot of details. It gives you things like you know, when you it has a GPS signal on it, so you can use, you can measure you know the miles you ran, the pace, the amount of calories you burned, all this kind of stuff. You can upload it onto Strava, and you get this satellite map which shows you where you ran. Um, you know, it's kind of cool, but you know, then again. I don't believe in that anymore. Uh, you know, I was I wasn't really enjoying training as much as I used to, and um, I've been thinking. Um, I actually quit running a while back. Um, and I was I was going to play soccer. Um, I was going to the gym and just focusing on my soccer skills and um, you know, things I thought. You know, when was the last time I actually enjoyed my training? It was probably around like late twenty eighteen, early twenty nineteen, and I was thinking, what's the difference between what I did back then and what I did now? The difference back then was. I was using this, just a stopwatch. It doesn't have GPS on it, okay? So it wasn't obsessive, you know, I wasn't able to get mile splits, okay? Um, you know, um, and it's much better that way. So yeah, I decided to come back training and I ran some routes that I know the distance of. Cause you know, this thing like, you know, tells you like how far away certain areas are. So I know like Marty Park, the front entrance to Marty Park is three miles from my house. So like I think one day I ran up to Marty Park and I ran back just a six mile run. Yeah, so I'm coming back from break, starting off on like low mileage, just like six mile runs. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do eight. I'm gonna do eight for next for uh the week next week. So, thirty six miles this week, forty eight next week. That's the plan. And um yeah, so um I'm thinking right if I if I if I if there's a route and I know how far it is, um I'm not gonna use any watch. I just go wrist wrist free, watch free, and um you know so I don't obsess about things like pace, distance. I just kind of go by feel. Do you know what I mean? And uh, if it's, if I'm running a route and I don't know the like uh, the distance, uh, I'll just use this a stopwatch. Okay. So today I ran six miles. Just well, forty two minutes. Not I don't know if it's exactly six miles. It might be a bit more. It might be six and a half. Um. But yeah. So I ran from my house up to Balali Park. Looked at my watch. Twelve minutes on the dot. And um, ran two laps around there. Um. Two laps around the first lap in four forty five. Second lap around five oh five. I think it's because I took like. A wrong turn I, I made it slightly longer so yeah um how far is that it's probably like three quarters of a mile i'll do the maths uh, after this video and yeah then i ran home and well i ran past my house up to deer park ran a lap around there and uh yeah then ran home it was 42 minutes so it's much more enjoyable training like that okay that's the old school style of training back in the 1980s they didn't have garmin watches you know they, didn't, they weren't tracking things so rigidly you know, their, their, their coach wouldn't say to them, right, okay, guys, right, six and a half minute miles, seven minute miles, right, off you go. No, it would just be like, all right, guys, so, you know, you had a workout yesterday, so you want to take it a little bit easier today. um, Just, you know, so you can recover, you know, but try not to take the piss either, you know. <laughs> don't be going so slow that you don't get any, any benefit from it. And uh, that's the way it worked back then. It was, it was just more simple. I think that's what we need. We need to go for a more simple approach to running, okay. Um, because you know we're not resigned to run with Garmin watches. Even a stopwatch is you know not not natural. You know, like if you're running out in the tribes, like in the nature, you're not like time yourselves. You're not getting your mile splits, or you're just running to I don't know run after like a pig or uh, run to get around the place. Um, you know, and, and you know it's a lot more enjoyable when you're not using the Garmin watch. And you know enjoyment is the most important thing. You know I think that's why we get such a high dropout rate. It's so everything's taken so seriously. Though so much detail goes into it. And um, I think we just need to get out there and just practice enjoyment, enjoyment of a sport. Because, um, you know, if you're not on you're top guy, if I'm not enjoying it, I'm going to quit. Even if I'm winning nationals, even if I'm a sponsored athlete, if I'm not enjoying it, I'm, I'm quitting. All right. But if I am enjoying it, I'm going to keep going.